In this session, we will calculate the individual mass of an oxygen atom, and then we will calculate the mass of an oxygen molecule known as O2, the form of oxygen that we actually breathe. But before we begin, let's just refamiliarize ourselves with what the periodic table tells us. In this first number, this is the atomic number, and what the atomic number tells us is the number of protons within the nucleus of the atom. So for example, carbon has six protons in its nucleus. Nitrogen has seven protons in its nucleus, and oxygen has eight protons in its nucleus. The difference between any two atoms on the periodic table is the number of protons within the nucleus of that atom. The next number is sometimes called the molar mass, and what that tells us is the mass of one mole of atoms. And in this case, the mass or the molar mass of carbon is 12.011. Now what that really means is, or let me first write it out as one mole of carbon atoms has a mass of 12.011 grams. Now what is a mole? A mole is just a unit that we use to count large numbers or large quantities of things. And in this case, one mole represents 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms. So what this is really telling us is that one mole of atoms, or this many atoms of carbon, has a mass of 12.011 grams. Now, let's just, before we go into any further calculations, let's just say a few more things about the periodic table. Now, atoms are very, very small, and we can't have go to a scale and mass out an individual atom. What we actually have to do is mass out a large number of atoms, and then we can make a comparison between the masses. So for example, this number right here represents the molar mass of neon, and in this case, one mole, or 6.022 times 10 to the 23 neon atoms, has a mass of 20.180 grams. This krypton has a molar mass of 83.80 grams, or 6.022 times 10 to the 23 krypton atoms has a mass of 83.80 grams. If you went to silicon, 6.022 times 10 to the 23 silicon atoms has a mass of 28.086 grams. So what that number is telling you, or the molar mass is telling you, is the mass of 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. All right. So now let's go into a calculation. And before I be, do that, I'm just going to clear up a little room on this workspace. So if we look at oxygen, oxygen has a molar mass. So let's say uh, atomic oxygen. Atomic oxygen has a mass of 15.99 grams. Now what that means is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd oxygen atoms has a mass of 15.99 grams. All right. So an individual oxygen molecule is very, very small and doesn't have a lot of mass. So we need to measure or mass out a large quantity of oxygen atoms before we can actually measure it on a laboratory scale. Now if I want to figure out the mass of an individual oxygen molecule, what I need to, or excuse me, an individual oxygen atom in this case, what I need to do is divide both sides by 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. And when I do that, I can find the mass of an individual oxygen atom. So I divide both sides by 6.22 times 10 to the 23rd. And when I do that, the number I get is 2.66 times 10 to the negative 23rd grams. So one oxygen atom has a mass of 2.66 times 10 to the negative 23rd grams. That would be very, very difficult to mass out on an individual scale. And that's why, again, we mass out not one individual oxygen atom, but we mass out a large number of oxygen atoms. In this case, 
one mole or 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd oxygen atoms. Now, if we wanted to find the mass of one oxygen molecule, so the form of oxygen that you breathe in is called O2, and it actually looks like or has a molecular structure of OO with a two lone pairs on each oxygen atom in a covalent bond. That's not, or it's a double covalent bond. And that's not necessary to know to calculate the mass of one oxygen molecule, but it's good information to have in the back of your head. Now, one mole of oxygen atoms, or excuse me, one mole of oxygen molecules, which I'll write as one mole of O2, has 6.022 times 10 to the 23 molecules of O2. So this is mole, not molecule, and this is molecules. Now, one mole of oxygen atoms, or excuse me, one mole of oxygen molecules has a mass, so one mole of O2 molecules has a mass of now there's two oxygen molecules in each molecule and it has a mass of each atom has a mass of 15.99 grams so one mole of oxygen molecules has a combined mass of 31.98 grams all right now to calculate how the mass of an individual oxygen molecule you have to remember that this is the mass of 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd oxygen molecules, which I'll write as molecules, and that's going to equal 31.98 grams. And I misspelled molecules, but you get the idea. So what I need to do is divide both sides by 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. And when I do that, I get 5.31 times 10 to the negative 23. And that'd be grams. So one oxygen molecule has a mass of 5.31 times 10 to the negative 23 grams. And what, you'll, what you should notice is that the mass of one oxygen molecule is about double the mass of an individual oxygen atom. All right, so we'll pick this up in the next video.